Hi, my name is Melissa. I am Holly and Garrett's mom, and I drive a forklift at Costco. This is what Costco looks like on the inside. There is a top A steel, a middle B steel, and a bottom C steel. That's where we keep all the extra pallets. For our uniform, we have collared shirts with Costco written on them, name badge with name and date, steel toe shoes, pants, no holes, pants, no holes, and a nice clean shirt. And that. This is what my forklift looks like. There are all the controls that goes up, down, side to side, and allows me to go in and out of the steel. Here, you can see me moving the trash can out of my forklift's path. You must make sure that people and objects are at least four feet away from you. At corners, you must honk and look both ways. Forklift drivers are given drop lists, which shows the aisle number and steel location of the items we need for the day. There's aisle 323. Let's yeah, go the, find the, the. the item. I'm going to be looking for something in the B steel, which is the middle, second row. Now I'm going to count in twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. B15. There it is. Let's drop it. You count from the very beginning pallet on the left side all the way to the right until you find the pallet that you're looking for. When we back up, we must always look behind us for safety. Sometimes you can place the pallet on top of other pallets so it's easier to take stuff off the top and we don't have to bend over as much. This helps prevent injury to our backs when we are lifting and pulling stuff off of pallets. To become a forklift driver at Costco, Costco will train you. You will work closely with a forklift trainer who will observe your driving for 40 hours. Then you will take a test, just like in school, to certify you as a forklift driver. Here, I'm going to push this pallet out of my way to grab the next one. Here's more video of me spinning around to drop a pallet out of the blue steel that they need. If you want to become a forklift driver, you must be good at math and counting, following directions, work safely and be aware, and most importantly, have great communication. So you are going to be talking with stalkers, managers, and other employees in the building. The big semi-trucks that you see out on the road are what bring all of our pallets to Costco. Our job as forklift drivers is to place the pallets either in the steel or stock them if they are new or if you don't have enough product. Some pallets come in wrapped in cardboard, so I like to write what the item is on the outside of the box so that we can easily tell what's in the steel. Make sure you're practicing your writing and spelling. Here's all the supplies I need for my job. I've got a pen and paper in case I need to write anything down to remember. I've got my radio to talk to people and a marker to write on the outside of palette. Now that I wrote on the palette, we can easily read what's inside. When you are driving, it is really important to be aware of your surroundings. There are people everywhere and they have the right of way, so you must make eye contact and communicate and always be on the lookout. This is Orlando. He is a stalker at Costco. He is wrapping this pallet for me so that I can place it in the steel. At Costco, the pallets have to be wrapped in shrink wrap so that they are safe and nothing falls from them. Now I'm going to hang that pallet that he just wrapped in the very top steel. Well, 
there you go. There is all the details about my career at Costco as a forklift driver. Bye.